Hi, welcome to Hellcaster. So I'm going to build something out of cardboard. It's going to have a touchscreen monitor on. It's going to have a MIDI controller. It's going to be linked to an old PC that I've got. So I want to try and install Sunvox. Sunvox is a synth that you can get on different platforms. And I want to make a Sunvox module. So here we go. Right. So we've got the MIDI controller here and the touch screen on the cardboard box. As you can see here I've drew round it where I want it to come and sit. I want to sit on the floor using it so this is why I'm making it low down. There goes the dog. Right, I want sides on it and I want a back on it and I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm just making it up as I go along. Just some to do because again it's raining in Manchester. Okay, what's the dog doing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> here's the desktop PC that I'm using. This is about five years old now, it must be that five or six actually. Dog putting his bum in the shot. It's got microphone, headphones, two USB 2, SD slot. CD drive. Now I'm going to lay it on its side so I won't be able to use the DVD CD drive. I've got this memory here, but I'm not sure whether they work. They're all 2 gigabyte each, so I'm not sure whether they work. They work, but I've just looked inside it and it's got one 4 gigabyte and I'm sure I've got a spare one about somewhere so I'm going to leave that in it and not use these but I've got these as spares the desktop PC lay on its side in the TV cabinet it's all a mess at the minute but the module I'm making is going to sit here the toys, the dog's toys are going to move somebody's had all these toys out anyway it's marked out like I said I've done a hole for the wires to the touchscreen monitor. Holes there. Now the touchscreen monitor has a bar on the back of it and that's how it tilts up and down. So this is to hold it still. I'm going to use cable ties when I can find them. So I can't find them. I'm going to use paracord just to hold it in stationary. This box is going to be the back of the module. Really, it's not a module. It's a touch screen console. Been in the shed, it's a bit damp, but it'll dry out. I've made a recess in the back of the box. Now this is the back, and my base will slot into this. So I'm gonna just cut some holes for the wires. The dog's really interested. So I'll take this back, and then there. And there. Right, next, cut these flaps off. I think. I've managed to fold the flaps, the cardboard flaps in on my cells. I've got this polystyrene, what was originally with the box, and that'll do. You can get your hand through there to the wires. Fed the wires through the back. It's all taped together. Amazing what you can do with a pound duct tape. Cut this out so the monitor will sit in there. Touch screen, MIDI controller. The MIDI controller, I don't want it flat like that. I want it at an angle like that. So I'm going to have to work out something that keeps it up like that. Maybe. A triangle tube right why well, I wanted a bat bit I want to put a piece of cardboard that runs cut out obviously for the screen and my MIDI controller but I want it to run and come down here so all you've got is the screen and my MIDI controller and like a board I've put duct tape on the edge there it's going up onto the MIDI controller there's duct tape here onto the touch screen underneath there and at the side there 
so that holds it in place. A white piece of paper to make the template to cut out for the screen and my MIDI controller. I've made the template that sits over the top. Looks like an old 80s computer. <laughs> Now I need a piece of card that'll bend, it's got enough bit of give in it that'll sit around that. Right, now I'm going to install some Vox on my PC. I did mention at the beginning of the video that I was making this to put some Vox on. Well, I'm going to put some Vox on it and show you some Vox on this video. Basically, what I'm making is just going to be a Windows 10 touchscreen computer without a keyboard or mouse and a MIDI controller. So it'll work on all sorts of things. It'll work on Ableton or do you say it Ableton. It'll work on all other different sort of DAWs. It'll work on Audacity. It'll work with plugins. Um, yeah, so... I just wanted to say that. So I've just fitted an LED strip and this is a controller. It's plugged into the USB port. It's plugged into the touchscreen monitor because it's got a USB hub. So should we power it up? Right, okay, I'm going to install some Vox now, have a mess with it, and I'll come back to you when it's working. Right, I'm just copying my files to the computer. There's a few here, there's sound files, like libraries of samples. Um, there's some Sims VST plugins. There's also Ableton, what I'm putting on it as well, because I'm putting some Vox on it, but it'll also work with Ableton and other DAWs. So I'll install some Vox and go on it, but I'll have to get my head around it first and get used to it. So what I'm going to do now is install Ableton or Ableton. It's only the light version, but it's still 9.7. So I'll show you with these plugins that I've got because I've got some free plugins. Okay. So I'll show you them all working. I'll show you Ableton and what it works like with Ableton. And I'll show you some Vox as well. I've got a few other things. I've got some sound packs I want to install. So I'm going to be about two hours at this. So I'll come back in about two hours. Okay. Here it is with some Vox on. Now I've never used some Vox before. I've just seen it on a few things on YouTube. Thought I'd give it a go. So I'm going to watch some tutorials and learn how to use it. So, I can't show you any music on this at the minute. It does this. So, I'll have a mess with it. That's it anyway. Right, I'll show you Ableton and some music. Ableton. Whatever. Okay, here it is with Ableton on. Ableton. Make it easier. Let's just call it Live 9. Right, so here it is with Live 9 on.
right? That's just a quick show of it. So, so the plugin was loaded in the instrument rack and it's under pad and this one is drive bass. And this one, if I can get it, is June O Pad. Right, so basically that's it. I won't really play music then, I've just loaded two plugins into it and just to show you. So that's it on Live 9. Right, and I'm going to end it here, so this just started off as a prototype made out of cardboard, and that's what it is, a prototype, Windows 10, touchscreen, music console, so there you have it. Right, if you like this video, I've been making some other stuff, I made a modular rack for Android, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. So if you look at my channel, you'll find synth music, guitar music, and a bit of DIY stuff, music based of course. Right, you've been watching Hellcaster, and thanks for watching. Right, okay, there'll be more videos like this, so if you like my content, subscribe to me and you get a notification if you hit the bell and when I upload a video, you'll get a notification when I've uploaded it. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this because I've enjoyed making it. So there'll be some jam videos coming up on this console, so keep an eye out for them. Okay, bye.